everybody. Boy, is this going to be exciting. Today, we're going to go to every park Roanoke parking garage and ride each elevator in the garage. We'll start off by walking up the steps because we're healthy to get a view off the rooftop and then ride each elevator in the garage. So, with that being said, guess what time it is, everybody? That's right, it's Elevator time. There's Diesel Ducey. All right, people, here we go. We'll start off by getting a look at the trusty Timex Iron. The first garage we're gonna look at today is the Tower Garage. The Tower Garage is actually attached to the Wells Fargo building. However, now it is a municipal parking garage and part of the Park Roanoke system. So, because Elevators is all about being healthy, let's go ahead and walk up the first set of steps and enjoy our first rooftop view. Here we go! Unfortunately, due to the high facade on this garage, you don't get the best view. However, this is one of the best views of the Wells Fargo building. And as you can see, part of the garage is actually under the building itself. If you look closely, you can see the very top of Mill Mountain. Let's magically transport downstairs and ride the elevator. These are very unique Otis Bottom Drive elevators. Unfortunately, both indicators were out in the first elevator. One works in this elevator.
We're gonna end our tour on two in this garage so we can go across the Market Square walkway. Alright people, here we go out into the Market Square walkway. They removed the Schindler escalators, and here is a view of our next destination. Do you know where it is? Unfortunately, the elevator at the Market Square walkway is broken and has been for a little while. So we're going to go down the steps, and you will see that the elevator is in between the first and the second floor. That's right. The next garage we're going to check out is the Gainsborough Garage. There are two elevators here, one on the west end and one on the east end. I love the facade on this garage with its two-tone, the brick on the bottom, the cement on the top, and I love that parking sign. Here's a time check on the trusty Timex Iron Man. We will enter the garage through the east end where we'll be healthy and walk up the steps and get a nice view from the top. Oh, there's a glimpse of the east elevator, but here we go up the steps. The view from this garage is not the best, but it's better than the tower garage. Here, you have a pretty good view looking south toward downtown Roanoke. And there's part of the Wells Fargo building and the old NW building to your left. All right. Now it's time to ride this Schindler elevator. That elevator ran very well. Now we are going to go to the west end of the garage where we have another elevator. And this elevator goes up toward Henry Street.
That was a nice ride. Now we are going to exit the garage on this floor and go across the Henry Street Bridge. A fun fact about this bridge, when I first moved to Roanoke, this bridge was actually open to vehicular traffic. Now it is a footbridge, and I'm sure you know where we're going now, so let's go. We are now outside of Roanoke's oldest and tallest parking garage. That's right, the Church Avenue garage, where the Diesel Deucey Show was filmed. This garage is very brutalist looking, and I love the exit ramp. It is so cool. Again, I can't get enough of the brutalist architecture. So, let's check the time on the trusty Timex Iron Man. This garage is over 10 stories tall, so we're really gonna have to earn this rooftop view. But I will say this, it's probably the best rooftop view in all of Roanoke. Also, this garage was built the same year I was born. All right, time to get stepping and be healthy. Here we go. Even the views from the lobby are really pretty. This garage being on the west side of downtown offers a very nice view of Roanoke's skyline. This is your view from the northeast corner of the garage. Now let's go over to the south side of the garage where you can see the iconic Texas Tavern. There's the federal building and as we pan the camera, you will see Mill Mountain and the rest of downtown. If you look very closely, you can see the Roanoke Star. Now, let's ride the east bank of elevators. These were originally Westinghouse elevators, modded by Montgomery, and modded again by ThyssenKrupp. Let's transport down to the lobby.
All right, here's another time check on the trusty Time X Iron Man. There's one more elevator in this garage. The diesel diesel elevator. So let's go ride this famous elevator located on the west end of the garage. This elevator features some high quality Hollister Whitney equipment. It's always fun riding the Diesel Ducey elevator. Now, we're gonna get another time check on the trusty Timex Iron Man, and all the other elevators we're gonna ride are going to be scenic. This is Roanoke's newest parking garage, the Campbell Garage. So, let's go across the street and be healthy and get a view off the top of this garage. I wonder whose car that is parked there. I really like this staircase because there's windows on every floor. This being the westernmost parking garage in Roanoke gives you a view of Roanoke's entire skyline. It's not the best view because you're only five floors up, but it's still a nice view of the skyline. From this side of the garage, the jail blocks the view of Mill Mountain. This is Roanoke's new transit hub. And I wonder who lives in that white building there. On this side of the garage by the elevator, you can see around the jail and get a view of Mill Mountain. Now it's time for a ride on this scenic ThyssenKrupp elevator.
when the garage was built, all the buttons had that style in the elevator. As with a lot of ThyssenKrupps, Mad BS replaced the plastic buttons. Time for another time check on the trusty Timex Iron Man. We are standing out in front of the center in the square garage. I believe this garage opened up in 1981 and it has probably what I would say is the most interesting elevator on Park Roanoke's system. The elevator is a variable speed relay logic Dover trash. But before we ride that, we have to be healthy and walk the steps and of course get our view from the top of the parking garage. The basement's restricted so we can't go down there, but we can go up and every half floor we get a very nice view out of the window. sandwiched around a bunch of high-rise buildings, you don't get a very panoramic view, but you do get good close-up views of Roanoke's skyscrapers. Here you get a nice view of the pedestrian alley, and I wonder what that is over there. I really like the big numbers on the elevator doors. Now it's time to ride the Dover.
This elevator is personally probably my favorite on Park's Front Oak system. Now, we're gonna walk through this alley, and after we get a quick time check on the trusty Timex Iron Man, we are outside of none other than the Market Parking Garage. So with that being said, let us go inside the Market Parking Garage. It's time to walk the steps, but we're gonna walk the steps on the southeast corner of the garage. This is in the new part of the garage. I really like this stairwell because each floor you go up, the view gets a little bit better. Also, just like the elevator, the floors are color coded. Now, this top floor view is not really much of a rooftop view because the hotel is above us, but you can still get some nice views out of the garage. There's Mill Mountain. Here's a nice view right from the center of downtown looking west. From the north side of the garage, you can see the Wells Fargo Tower and some of our beautiful mountains off in the distance. Now it's time to ride the world famous Church Avenue elevator at the Market Parking Garage.
now we're going to ride the Luck Avenue elevator. This one has an epic motor. Here's one last time check on the trusty Timex Iron Man. We're at the last place we're going today, the Elmwood Park Garage. We all know this had a US elevator that got modded by ThyssenKrupp, and the old buttons are down in the elevator museum. Time to be healthy one last time and walk the steps in the Elmwood Park Garage to get a view. If anyone knows how many floors total today I walked, leave it in the comments below. Elmwood Park Garage being the closest to the Mill Mountain Star obviously gives you the best view of Mill Mountain. If you look toward the west, you can see the various buildings in downtown, such as the Wells Fargo building and off in the distance the Hotel Roanoke. Now it's time to ride the elevator. Here we go. You can hear the Amtrak train passing behind me.
So there you have it. That is every Park Roanoke elevator in December of 2023. This elevator, as you're about to see, is a telescoping in-ground hydraulic elevator. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I wonder who that is right there. Oh my God. A huge thank you to all of my patrons for your support of Elevate Tours. The video's over, but it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more and you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe and light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.